Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. We have multiple images of MRI brain. Patient had brain surgery because left CP angle mass. Here we can see significant gliotic changes because of previous surgery. Bulk of the left cerebellum is grossly reduced. Similarly, we can see left middle cerebellar peduncle. Its bulk is also grossly reduced. So we can compare right middle cerebellar peduncle and right cerebellum with left middle cerebellar peduncle and left cerebellar hemisphere. So major bulk of the left cerebellum is lost because of previous intervention and there is exvacuular rotation of fourth ventricle. Here on this axial post contrast image we can see there is homogeneously enhancing mass in internal auditory canal and left side which is suggestive of uh, recurrent or residual acoustic neuroma or vestibular schwannoma we can also compare this with contralateral right cp angle where we can see seventh eighth nerve complexes which is normal but here we can see there is homogeneous post contrast enhancement of mass in the left internal auditory canal and uh, we can see prominent series of space because of previous intervention this is axial post contrast image and this one is axial flare sequence and uh, we can see chronal images seventh eight nerve complexes on right side and this is the mass in left internal auditory canal same as the situation on sagittal images we can see mass in left internal auditory canal so this is an example of uh, residual or recurrent left-sided vestibular schwannoma or acoustic neuroma we can also see inflammatory changes in right accessory sphenoid air cell and right maxillary sinus we can also see vp shunt which is present in its normal position and size of the lateral and third ventricle is normal we can also see that brain parenchyma in the supratentorial compartment is normal as well there is no midline shift here no ischemic or hemorrhagic insult we patient with normal size of the lateral and third ventricles thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah